As of October 23rd, 2022, there are 51 volcanoes actively erupting across seven continents. Of these, the volcano with the largest ongoing volcanic eruption in terms of overall explosive material ejected is the Menam volcano in Papua New Guinea. Menam is a populated and distinctly red volcano which has been continuously erupting since June 29th of 2014. While typical eruptive activity has consisted of volcanian explosions at regular intervals which send plumes of ash to a height of 5,000 to 15,000 feet, its ongoing VEI-4 eruption has occasionally ejected ash plumes up to a height of 65,000 feet or 19.8 kilometers. With this being said, here are this week's major volcano-related news stories. In the Philippines, the Taal volcano produced its largest eruptive series in more than six months, resulting in 29 explosions on a single day. Meanwhile, in Indonesia, a new eruption began at the Kerinci volcano, scattering ash around its summit. And in Ecuador, the Cotopaxi volcano might have produced a new volcanic eruption on October 21st, representing its first eruptive episode since 2016. The reason I say might have erupted is despite producing a small volume of ash and a discernible plume, Cotopaxi may not have actually erupted. Here is what happened. On October 21st, at around 7.50pm local time, seismic stations on the volcano detected a volcanic tremor. Although volcanic tremors can be caused by the movement of magma, in this case it was most likely caused by the movement of gas in the volcano's magma conduit. This activity caused a discernible mainly white plume to rise a kilometer or 3,300 feet above the already 19,393 foot tall glacier covered volcano. During two discernible intervals, this plume also carried with it a small amount of ash which was subsequently deposited around the crater rim. Volcanic ash advisories were then issued, noting that ash had risen up to 2,340 meters above the crater rim. At 12.40 a.m. on October 22nd, the tremor stopped, although degassing activity continued. You might hear all of this, note the presence of ash, and think that guarantees that a volcanic eruption occurred, perhaps a phreatic one. However, at certain volcanoes such as Cotopaxi and the White Island Volcano in New Zealand, it is fully possible to produce ash and send it into the air without it actually erupting. This occurs due to the fact that during prior explosive eruptions, particulates of ash settled within Cotopaxi's magma conduit leading to its summit. This ash largely remains in place until something such as an increase in gas pressure dislodges it from the harder rock, pushing it upwards. Thus, it is fully possible that all that occurred on October 21st and 22nd was a sudden increase in gas emissions from the volcano. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, the Taal volcano has been undergoing a low-intensity eruptive series since October 5th. These eruptions have been largely small, consisting of phreatomagmatic bursts where small amounts of lava or superheated ash interact with the water in the crater lake, causing the water to flash to steam and explode. If you were to watch the relevant live streams when one of these bursts occurred, it would honestly be hard to spot, as they have largely looked like small puffs of cloud from the crater lake. In the last week, Taal's acidic crater lake has begun degassing at an elevated rate, sending a cloud of steam and other gases to a height of 2,500 meters above the crater lake. Then, on October 21st, a series of 29 phreatomagmatic bursts occurred in rapid succession. This surprisingly occurred after a decrease in earthquakes but an increase in sulfur dioxide emissions. Although Taal could produce another sustained eruptive series, and perhaps a larger eruption, there is not currently any evidence that this will occur. In Indonesia, the grey-topped Kerinci volcano began a new volcanic eruption on October 16th, sending a plume of ash to a height of 500 meters through a small phreatomagmatic explosion. Intermittent ash emissions occurred for the next two days, until on October 19th, continuous ash emissions began. Once again, the ash plume only reached between 300 meters and 750 meters above the crater rim, marking this eruption as a classic low-end VEI-1 explosive eruption. Here is a quick list of every volcano which is currently erupting. Also, here are some volcanoes showing signs of unrest which are not erupting but could erupt in the near future. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank my new YouTube member Scott Ross for supporting this channel.